Now, this week, as you will have seen on the show by now, if you've seen the show, and if not, I'm giving it away, but I don't care, because I'm excited about this, because we have been, for once, not idiots, not useless, brilliant, because we have made this. Yeah, I, I better put that into context for you. We've addressed what is a pressing and growing need for the nation. Flooding, it's a big issue. Houses being built on floodplains, global warming, etc. means pretty much every week somebody goes to sleep in their bed and wakes up in a lake. And what we've noticed was there's no way of getting about. Your car doesn't work. Well, there is with this. Come have a look. It's the hover van. This is the business end. You get a better view. There's people leaning on it there. Ignore them. They're just being disrespectful of our creation. You see, it's a van inside. Much like that's a van there. That's an ordinary van. If you imagine that, but turned into this. This is to make it a bit more floaty on the side. Mr. Clarkson is joining me. Hello. Just tell them I'm a good driver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just tell yeah. them it wouldn't have worked if it worked for my driver. I will get to that bit in a minute. Let me talk you through what we made and then what he did to it. So what it is is a van. We three sit up the front. It's got its engine in the front to drive it along in the usual fashion. We fitted these skirts that contain the air that is generated and sent down by that engine there, the lift engine. That's from a Yamaha R1 Superbike. Over here at the back, this is the, the real business end, this is the thrust fan. You see, you are impressed. Look, that's engineered and made. That's a 2.4 litre V8 from a radical track car. That's a powerful, light, compact V8. In total, in the back of that van, 600 horsepower. So we set off to test it. We were feeling good. This is an important service. I have actually, I live in an area that is blighted by floods. I have friends out near Tewsbury, Hallbridge, villages near me that flooded. Last time they did flood, I went out to rescue one of them from his house. I borrowed a boat with a little outboard motor. I was chugging along through the floods, only about four foot deep. And that's the problem, because I caught the propeller on the top of a gravestone. Disaster. Not a problem with this, because we hover over the top. All would have been brilliant and briefly was when it set sail on the river Avon in Stratford and then Jeremy's driving was exuberant, enthusiastic, violent and essentially useless. I'm not going to give too much away more than that because if you haven't seen what we did with this you should. Um, what let it down wasn't the skirts, the floats, the engines, the fan, the lift, me, James, the navigation, it was the other. Brilliant. It is the future. So when you watch it, I want you to just remember you've seen the machine, how brilliant it is, and how brilliant the future could be if Jeremy wasn't in it. 